Hey YouTubers, what's up? It's me, yours truly. Uh, back to post a quick video response to Jason Vinyl Obsession's last thread that he did uh, a few weeks ago. Um, I just kind of ran in the house right from work and there's a few things I got to go out and do tonight so I thought I'm going to shoot this video real quick because I sent him a message early and promised him I was going to do one today since I've waited so long to respond. So uh, you guys have to deal with me in work status. But uh, anyway, oh yeah, as always I could do was playing in the background. I got my cassette deck back the other day, which is nice. Uh, ACDC, Who Made Who, Sink the Pink. Very, very good album. But anyway, uh, his video was about a female artist. Yeah, just some fa favorite female artist. And he said not a top ten or five favorite or anything, but just some of your favorite artists. So I just really kind of went through and yanked out a bunch and kind of here it is. Um, female artists definitely take me deep into my love for the 80s so you're gonna see some very cheesy stuff in here too but again it's just the ones that I love but a little bit of variation here and there well, let's start off with the band that you've heard me talk about a million times over already in this moment uh, Maria the lead singer absolutely love her this is one you guys may not be as familiar with but uh, Luna Chick Babysitters on Acid this album but I mean this group overall Along with the uh, Biker Sluts from Hill, I like them a lot too. I don't have any of their vinyl yet. I haven't won any on eBay, but that's kind of some of the more like, crazy rock chick groups that I like. Um, one of my favorite bands here too, the Donnas. Um, I like them a lot because I've oftentimes felt this could be another one of those you know, gimmick kind of chick bands, but they're not. I mean, they can play, they can make some, they make really good music, and uh, you know, it's awesome because they're they're the real deal. So I love the Donnas, and I have most of their, almost all of their albums. Uh, this is one that kind of goes without saying. Of course, I have a ton of her stuff. Madonna. I mean, how can you not respect her as a female artist? And this is uh, music. And then the Queen herself, another kind of give me as far as I'm concerned, Aretha Franklin. I mean, no one's ever built it out the way that she does. That's one of her albums I have with her greatest hits. Uh, this next female group, I still contend, has the funkiest groove ever laid down in a song ever, which is the Emotions. And so I, mean, I have to make them one of my favorite bands, and the song is Best of My Love. There, there is no bass line, no groove that is that is tighter than, than that song. That song is absolute perfection from start to finish. So I gotta put them in there. A little one of my favorite metal bands, uh, Kitty. Definitely one of my favorite female groups, if you will. Not to mention the fact that even at this stage in life, I still have a huge crush on Mercedes. The chick is she's just incredible. Uh, she can play, she you know, is very attractive, and yet she kind of looks like if you screwed with it, she would beat you to a pulp. I mean, just kind of the embodiment of female power. So, <laughs> um, moving right along, one of my definitely 80s loves here, which is Sherelle. Uh, again, I'm not sure how familiar you guys might be with her, but she had a number of 80s R&B hits back in the day, and I've always liked her. Uh, kind of another give me, you know, Janet Jackson. And again, that may sound kind of, you know, just cheesy mainstream old Janet Jackson, you know, just artists we've always known about and kind of take for granted. But when you really go back and study her body of work, I mean, she she has done some really incredible things over the course of her career. You know, it's almost a shame that she's a Jackson, because I think that in and of itself just gets her overlooked so much. But uh, at the same time, more of my 80s R&B love, Evelyn Champagne King. Um... You know, she had a number of different songs I liked back in the day. You know, Love Come Down, Betcha She Don't Love You, uh, Shame. And it was kind of cool because I think she got discovered when she, her sister or cousin or something was working at a record company as a, a cleaning. And one day she couldn't make it in, so she stepped in for her without, you know, the, the uh, company even knowing. And she was just singing, just kind of belting it out in the bathroom while she was cleaning. And one of the executives that was there kind of overheard it. Next thing you know, she became one of the biggest R&B, female R&B stars ever. So a pretty cool story there. Again, my girl, I worship this lady right here. I mean, Tina, 
She's been doing it for like 80,000 years. I mean, she's probably like 95 years old in this picture right here. I mean, she's just incredible. Her discography speaks for itself. I saw her in concert a few years ago, and she was incredible. Same thing here with Jody Watley. Uh, definitely one of my favorite artists from the 80s. Uh, she really took the whole, you know, pop R&B dance thing to another level. I even liked her a lot when she was with Shalimar long before she went solo. So I've always had a soft spot for her. Roxette. Again, like I said, a lot of my, my love for the, the ladies goes back to the late 80s and early 90s. I mean, I love the female artists from that time. And Roxette is a perfect example. You can almost consider both of them ladies. No, I'm not going to say that he's, <laughs> he was cool. But, uh, yeah, so that's one I would put in there. Another woman who I mean, almost put to the point of worshipping as well, Stevie Nicks, just so unique in so many ways from, you know, Fleetwood Mac to her solo career. I mean, everything about her is just kind of, kind of moving. I love Stevie. This is one you'll give me a lot of crap for, but I've put this in a video before, and I'll say it again. Because this, honestly, to me, is probably one of the top 20 albums of the 80s. And that is uh, Cyndi Lauper. I mean, again, it sounds cheesy, it sounds corny, but there were great popish bass lines in all of her songs. Almost every song on this album is great. And, uh, I mean, she has some pipes on it. She may not be a Whitney Houston-type singer, but she can hold notes and hit things that a lot of singers just can't. And She's So Unusual has, um, like I said, it sounds cheesy to say. And you got a black man sitting here in a tie listening to ACDC holding up a Cindy Lauper album talking about how great it is. But, I mean, it, it really is. So, I will stand behind that album through all criticism. Another band I have a lot of, and this is probably my favorite album by them, which is Heart. Uh, again, just kind of that epitome of what the mid-late 80s uh, pop music was about. And this is probably my favorite album with them. It has one of my songs in there, too, that I really love, uh, I Want You So Bad, which is a song that never got really any airplay, but I think it's a really beautiful and incredibly written song. It's probably my favorite song by them. Uh, Dido, Life for Rent. I think she has a very unique style, so there's definitely a lot of things that I like about her, and this album from top to bottom is, is very, very nice. Annie Lennox, you know, Eurythmics, Annie Lennox, I mean, you know, her body of work kind of speaks for itself. And one of the first comings of girl power, you know, Alanis Morissette. Again, very kind of, you know, basic mainstream, so to speak. But again, when you just really get down to the meat of this album, it, it really was an incredible work that she put together. So I'm a big fan of hers. Uh, the Sundays. Another band that I, I love. Here's Where the Story Ends. Probably my favorite song by them. And of course, you got men and women in this group, but the new pornographers. I would definitely put that as one of my favorites. Back to more of the cheesy 80s that makes people laugh at me, and I love every second of it. Laura Branigan, Self Control, one of my favorite artists of the 80s. And everything about that just screams 80s. <laughs> I love it. Another queen of the 80s that you can't deny, Pat Benatar. So. Another queen of the 80s. Oh, just joking. <laughs> yeah, everybody got to get Rick and Rick rolled. I mean, they do it so much with the videos. I thought this would be a good way to do it with them. So I'm not gonna call Rick a lady because, again, I, I like Rick. That's the fun, cheesy nature of the 80s. But uh, Janis Joplin. I mean, of course. How can you not go there? Uh, excuse me, one moment. Flip take over. Then we got Blondie. You know, as I mentioned in one of my past videos, you know, one of my first thoughts as far as remembering music moving me or whatever goes back to Blondie. I mean, she's one of the first artists that stuck in my mind as a, as a child, so she's definitely in that realm of being special. And the very last one, Brenda Lee. 
definitely like her a lot as well. Um, you know, her career you know, spans over a number of years. She had a lot of different, you know, good pieces of work. My favorite song by her, of course, is a Sweet Nothings. Uh, that might be her most popular song, if you will, but it's still the one that always, always captures me with her. But anyway, um, there you go, Jason. That's just kind of a, I want to make sure I did some type of quick reply to your thread. Um, sorry if I overwhelmed you guys with 80s, but when you start talking about my favorite ladies, it just, it always goes back to the 80s. That's just, that's what puts a smile on my face. Alright, so you guys take care, and I will talk to you soon.